Hi everybody and welcome. Today we're making a delicious cumin and fennel pork and potato meatball sub using Neo Tuscan bread. I have a whole loaf of this. This is a rustic um, Italian style bread with a crusty exterior and a porous um, interior. I have one pound of ground pork, two red potatoes that I have steamed in the microwave. We'll be using that for our meatballs. To season our meatballs, I have a half a cup of small of small diced white onion, a pinch of garam masala or spice powder, a tablespoon of cumin powder, half a teaspoon of fennel seeds, and some crushed red chili. If you have cheese, I'm using provolone today, you could use any cheese, and you could use sliced tomatoes, um, onions, or lettuce if you have any. Uh, we're using some cream cheese for our sub, and we'll be topping it off with a raspberry flavored sour cream. So here I have some ras just regular raspberry jam that I've watered down just a little bit. We'll be heating it in the microwave along with the sour cream uh, when we mix it. I have some garlic and ginger powder for the pork. So we're going to start first by adding all of our ingredients into the pork. You want to first break it up a little bit. Onions. Cumin, fennel, just a pinch of the spice powder, the flakes, some garlic powder, and ginger. Give this a good mix. Pour some salt to season it. I'm going to use my fingers here and make sure all of the ingredients are incorporated into the pork. So mix it well. And then we're using potato as a binder. Just peel it. The easiest way to get a potato to boil is to, or steam is to use the microwave. Taking up any hard parts here. I'm using some of the skin for some texture. Pepper. So I'm going to mix this well. So the potato is incorporated. So I've started making quite a few meatballs um, and all you have to do is just pick up a small piece. It depends on how big you want your meatballs but not too big. Remember the meat is raw and it has to cook on the pan. We're not using cooked meat. So just make a decent sized meatball here and I'm going to continue making the rest but we'll get our first batch frying. I have a pan that's heating with some olive oil. Just use some extra virgin olive oil here and I'm going to start putting the meatballs on the pan. Not too high, the flame should not be too high because you want it to cook. We're going to get them frying in small batches, I think this is good for now. I have everything ready here. My meatballs are all done and fried. I have tomatoes, sour cream, I had some lettuce. You can put lettuce, shredded lettuce if you'd like. <coughs> I've sliced the bread horizontally and toasted it just so lightly. So we're not using mayo today but cream cheese. Gives a nice creamy texture to our bread. So we're going to be a little liberal. And this um, cream cheese goes really well with Neo Tuscan or any kind of rustic bread like this because it tends to get a little dry 
and crusty and cream cheese provides a nice layer of fat and creaminess to the bread. So now that this is done, I'm going to layer some of the meatballs and see how many this holds. I'm going to put this on a plate because we will be taking it to melt the cheese. So I'm going to put this on a plate first. See how many we can pile up. Perhaps everything. Now for the provolone cheese. Have a few slices. Better take this and toast it just lightly till the cheese is uh, melty, but not not too melted. See how pretty that looks. We're gonna layer it with some tomato now. Remember, this is a large sandwich and could feed up to six people. Fresh pepper. And finally, we're gonna mix our sour cream and raspberry sauce. Very simple. So I have a bowl here. I'm gonna scoop up some sour cream. So I have raspberry jam that I've microwaved just a little bit to bring it down to a thinner consistency. Add about four teaspoons. Incorporate it well. Add just a dash of salt there. The sour cream typically has no salt. Here we have it. Let's taste for salt. It has a tang and a sweet to it. Just needs another dash of sprinkling of salt. And I'm going to drizzle it over the meatballs and the tomatoes. Your meatballs can be a little dry, so this can serve as a nice creamy sauce. Plating dish here. I'm gonna slide it on. That other side, and some lettuce. Just shredded lettuce for the crunch, and you can, at serving time, close your sandwich and slice it horizontally to serve any number of people, probably up to six or so. So here you have a delicious cumin and fennel pork and potato meatballs on a Neo-Tuscan bread with a raspberry sour cream sauce. Enjoy.